This is a power skip jump rope. Um, and I'm just gonna say this to begin with. Um, another generic rope. Um, they give, now let's see what we got here. I definitely like these handles, they're a lot thicker. Uh, meaning, uh, easier turning. Um, you do have some bearings in there, which we'll go over right now. It does come with extra clips. These are the clips I've shown you on the other cheaper ropes. Um, that it's, they literally, uh, they do break, especially if you're adjusting all the time. This rope is 100% adjustable. Thing I like about it though, look, it's got bearings and it's also got the adjustability. So now, I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and move this. Um, same thing as the other ropes, this pops out and you go ahead and slide up however you like. Don't just, do, do yourself a favor, cause I know a lot of people do this and I did this myself. Don't just leave this in the handle. You're obstructing that bearing. Um, this bearing needs to be greased because I can... It's not turning very well. So this is a ZZ809 bearing. Once again, we got our WD-40. See if this can revive this. Um, sometimes the grease the factories use get old. And I feel like that's what happened to this rope. So what we'll do is we'll spray you just, just down a little bit. Once again, you don't need much. Which is hard to control how much actually comes out of the white lithium here. So as you can see, it's spinning better now. Now it's just saturated. Anyway, so once again, don't just uh, leave. Rag. Don't just leave the excess inside the handle. That's stupid. It's retarded. Don't do it. You're better than that. Cut it. Now, once again, this has a wire rope inside, and probably also 17 by 9, 7 by 19 a pair of dikes. Cuts it fine. Um, you probably will want that WD-40 though. So it's got a decent sized bearing in there. Not bad. Um, yeah, not bad for how heavy it is. And then also I can't get a spin on it because of the fact that it is a wider handle. Think of a transmission. I'm in first gear, getting more torque on the handle. So it's very easy to turn, but I'm getting less RPMs. Plus there's more friction. Good size bearing though. I got to give it that. Now see, this is an example like it's not turning at all. You're going to buy this rope. You're going to be like, what the fuck is this? Look. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not a bad rope. This isn't the first one of these I bought. This was probably my second or third rope. I just bought it. This is a brand new one, but your bearing, uh, the bearing's fucked. Um, once again, probably, probably sat on Amazon shelves for years. And yes, I bought the original from Amazon. Um, and that's why. So once again, white lithium. It will revive the bearing. No worries. Turn. Ah, oh, damn. See the difference? So, and once you start spinning, it'll, it'll get better. So, once again, not bad on the rope. Handle length, uh, literally six inches. And then as far as weight goes on the handle, and keep in mind, it will be off because you do got the rope hanging off of it. Uh, it's about 41 grams, so a little on the heavier side. It's got a nice cushiony grip. It will, it will take in sweat very well. Um... I said I do like the fact that the bearings were revivable. Um, the more you use it, the more that WD-40 is going to get into the bearings and uh, clean out whatever the hell uh, grease or whatever they wanted to use in there. But yeah, not bad. This is a great rope for doing just about anything. Uh, double unders. Um, I don't know if you can do triples with these, but you can try. Uh, you can do just about anything with this rope. The cable's heavier. It's a higher quality cable than all the other just regular PVC because it's PVC and wire coated. Um, I, so once again, um, I do recommend this rope. This is more of an intermediate to advanced rope. Um, but stick more intermediate. It's great, especially if you're trying to do double unders. It will hurt you if it hits you, just as a heads up. So that's my review of the Power Skip Jump Rope. And once again, this is a made in China rope. You can find a generic knockoff on AliExpress. So I hope you found this information useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, don't give me a thumbs down. Uh, sorry to waste your time.